so this is the last part of the cat eye and I will be honest with you I got really tired of hair <laughs> but I'm happy with the end result um, I did end up um, putting probably about I don't know five or six more layers uh, before I decided you know what we're gonna call this a cat eye study and I'm gonna cut this down and I ended up cutting it literally cutting this picture to a four by four four inches by four inches that's right you heard me right um, <laughs> I was just so tired, so done. And when I start losing interest like that, it will sit um, unfinished. You know, um, I will put it aside and say, I will get to this. I will finish it. I'm sure we've all done this where we kind of just lose the the push, the drive to finish it, to, to complete it. Um, so instead of leaving it completely not finished, I decided... We're just going to make this so small, four by four. So I am literally going through and I'm adding, in my mind, I'm saying to myself, these are the final touches. Will I blend again? Probably. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, this was definitely a learning thing. But you can see how that white will help pick up the dark hairs. Um definitely suggest doing that. Um, it helps it, it gives it depth, you know, um, the white over the dark or the dark over the light, um, whatever, which, whatever way works best for you. This is just how I do it. Um, I will soften this all back up cause I don't really like the hard lines. I prefer a softer look like a soft fur. So yeah, you'll see me go over it um, over and over again. But I do think at this point I had decided kind of like, hmm, let's just call this done because I'm losing interest. Um, that's just the way it is for me sometimes. Art to me, it should be fun, not stressful. It should be relaxing, not um, irritating, you know, or not feeling pushed and or like I have to have to do this no 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 I I do art because I enjoy it so at any rate um, I'm gonna add this this patch of darkness here and then I'm gonna go over it again and just soften it up but just so you know I I hope I didn't disappoint too many people but I have to be happy with what I'm doing so all I'm doing here sorry about that um, all I'm doing here is adding the dark spots where I see them on the photo reference here. I'll show you the, um, there's little dark spots here that I feel like, you know what, just to make it look like that a little bit better. I'm going to do this, uh, final touches, these final dark spots to this, this picture. And I'm going to end on a high note instead of on a, a defeated note, you know, um, I want to be happy with it in the end. So this is my decision on it at this point is to let's just kind of frame this into a smaller picture and I'm I will be a lot happier being done with this picture and ending on a, on a good note so I am softening it I here's that tan I love this tan um soft pastel pencil it really helped blend and add that depth of color that this cat does have so yeah just pick your colors and, and kind of stay with them, you know, in this case, the main colors of this cat in this area of the face, um, not including the actual eyeball, uh, were grays, blacks, whites, creams, tans, and browns. Um, so many colors. But this tan is was awesome for, for softening and giving that, like, you know how cats have that little velvet strip under their eye? To me, it's like velvet. Um that's what I was trying to achieve there, but yeah. And the, and then even this cream, it does a great job with softening it, which is what I like. That's what I prefer. So yeah, that's all I'm doing. Just a final little, little blurps here and there. And we're going to call this cat eye, uh, a cat eye study. That's how I, uh, that's how I framed it in my mind anyway. So that's it really. Um, just a matter of, of deciding where these, you know, where I'm going to cut it. And 
yeah, it ended up being four by four. So a couple lines here and there, and we're going to call it done. So I don't even know why I included this in the video. I was just letting y'all know where I cut or ended up cutting off the rest of the paper just so you can see what it ended up being. Um, cause sometimes a picture of just the, just the finished result make a, may look a little deceiving. It's, you know, I'm totally straight and honest and, and forward about it. It's, this is not a big picture. <laughs> it kind of might look like that, but it's not four by four is what it ended up being. So snip, snap, there I go. Cut, cut, cut. I'm not even sure why I put the lines, I guess more for guidance. I don't know why I didn't use a ruler. Hmm. I don't know. But it came out just fine. Oops, I blooped there. But that's okay. Continuing on. There you go. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, uh, feel free to tell me. Thanks again. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.